my beloved aunt and godmother just had vertigo for the first time in her life and of course I treated her and let me tell you a few takeaways from this case. First of all, she lives in a very rural area in South Louisiana and medical treatment down there is kind of limited. Luckily, she knew that me, her goddaughter, had a degree in physical therapy and specializes in vertigo and dizziness treatments. So within just a few hours of getting a severe and sudden sensation of spinning to the point that she was bedridden and couldn't walk around, she called me. I spent about 15 minutes on a video chat with her. My cousin, who's her daughter, and my uncle, who's her husband, helped her through a few little diagnostic tests that I talked them through, which helped me to determine that it was her left ear and that it was BPPV, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. And I talked her through an Epley maneuver on the left side. Um, after that, she was still positive, so we did a second Epley maneuver on the left side. And after that, we just let it lie. And the next day she texted me and told me that she was completely back to normal and she felt great. Um, and it's been two weeks since then and she's still back to her normal self. But let's talk about what would have happened if she didn't have me. Unfortunately, I've heard this story too many times in rural areas and in very populated areas where a person, usually a woman, because this is a disease that affects mostly women, gets the severe symptoms, they become bedridden, they can't walk, and they eventually get to the doctor, whether it be urgent care or their primary care doctor, to complain of these symptoms, and the doctor just says, I think it's vertigo, here's some pills. And they usually give them meclizine, which causes them to not be able to feel the vertigo spinning sensations temporarily while they're on the medicine and also will make their brain numb to the sensations that are coming from their ears, which will make their testing get a little bit muddy if you were to actually test them for vertigo and they were on that medication. Some of the primary care doctors would have also referred her to an ENT, ear, nose, and throat doctor, but usually there is a huge waiting list of at least a month or two to get in with those doctors. So she would have gone home with this medicine that would have made her sleepy, groggy, and not feel the spinning sensations but didn't fix it, and still not been able to do things in her daily life because she would have been really, really off balance and really, really nauseous and have spinning sensations anytime the medication wore off and would have had to wait for a specialist appointment. And by the time she got to that specialist appointment, not only would the crystals that broke off in her inner ear canals uh, semicircular canals have been partially dissolved by then from just the movement um, but she also would be heavily medicated on meclizine and probably would test inconclusive on the crystal testing and would have been sent for a bunch of expensive audiological tests like caloric testing and VNGs which would have all come back also inconclusive. By now we are one to two months in the future where my aunt would have been completely bedridden and not able to do anything in her daily life and would have been seen as a very sick um, for several weeks in a row. And no treatment would have taken place other than to give her the medication to make her not feel it as much. And it's just a crying shame that it is not more mainstream to know how to test a patient for BPPV and do some basic treatments for it to get them out of this immediately. Um, rather than make them suffer through a long-standing several weeks of being horribly ill. And that's why I publish these things for free on my page, how to assess and treat a patient with BPPV-like symptoms. It's important to catch it early. It's important to get that ear functioning back normal quickly so that that person can return to their normal daily life within a couple of days, rather than beat their ear to high hell with those crystals for weeks and weeks and weeks in a row and make their brain start developing completely horrific ways of adapting to not having their ear reporting for duty.